In this exercise, we'll see a few more user-defined functions, or you can say custom functions. Here, uh, you can see a few numbers written in a array, or you can say a few cells. Now, we need to perform some actions based on the numbers. We need to do some calculations, or we need a formula uh, using these numbers. So, for example, if you look here in the default function set, you have a lot of functions which you can perform using cell data. Like if you want to sum up all the numbers, you have sum function. If you need average, you have average functions. At time, you need a function which is not listed in there and you want to perform some action. So it becomes difficult for you to every time do the calculations on your own and then put up uh, in one cell. So let's say I need a formula where I want to count all the numbers, uh, let's say, which are divisible by 3. So just uh, uh, this uh, formula I need to write I will be putting a formula name function name here and the range or the set of numbers here as input and it will give me the sum of numbers so let's say function custom function right and since I'll be providing a range as input it may be a cell or group of cells so range uh, variable rng as range now since I need to perform, uh, I need to check each and every uh, cell of that range. So I need to iterate it in the form of a loop. So for each, I'm taking another value, uh, so, uh, I'm taking another variable, cell. It's not C E W L because cell is a, uh, you can say a result keyword. So I'm using C E L uh, in the variable which I've used for range. Now it will iterate through every cell of that range here inside we can check that if cell dot value is divisible by 3 in that case increase the counter by 1 here we can set the counter as 0 and in the end we can return the counter so to return the value you just need to use the name of function custom f is equal to the value which you want to return so now let's see equals custom f range is let's say I give 1 2 3 4 5 6 I give these numbers so here we have three numbers which are divisible by 3 so output should be 3 there is something wrong here which we can debug let's let's see how to debug it you just add a breakpoint here and then reevaluate the formula it will take your cursor here it is setting the value of x as 0 for each cell in range it is checking whether cell dot value mod 3 is 0 now let let us check what is the value of cell so here we need to add a watch we can check here cell dot value is something wrong so the error was here it is cell and not a uh, c e double l so cell dot value right so let us uh, stop it here let's try to rerun it let's see what happens now uh, now it is giving us three right let us change the range here the input range here Initially, we have given the range in one dimension. Now, let us check it for a range in two dimensions. So, now it is giving me 11. So, we have 11 numbers which are divisible by 3. So, uh, similarly, you can create more functions like this. Let's say you need a function which gives you sum of all even numbers. Again, that is very easy. So, what you need to do is custom f2 is the name this time. x is 0, my counter is 0. I'm iterating through every uh, you can say cell of the range here I need to put a condition that if cell dot value mod 2 is 0 in that case mod is for reminder so if that number is divisible by 2 in that case uh, we need to uh, uh, sum up all these numbers so x is equal to x plus the value of that's all. So in the end, just return me the sum. So if we try to add up these numbers, sum of even numbers should be 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2, which is 4 and 2, 6, 6 and 6, 12, 
12 and 8 uh, 20 20 and 10 30 so 30 should be output of uh, uh, sum of uh, first row numbers so custom f2 my range is i'm sorry i'm writing it here it should be uh, used somewhere else not in the range so custom f2 and the input ranges from here till here again it is returning something something wrong because the function name was f2 and we were returning a value of custom f so that's wrong so now when we run it let's check so it is returning us 30 similarly you can provide uh, one cell also as input or maybe a group of cells in one dimension or two dimension it will work in all ways so if i change it to e22 so now we are talking about all the three columns so it gives me 272 so this way you can uh, customize your functions and uh, these are all known as user defined functions you were with kamal in this video and we are from extreme excel tutorials thank you